I'm now joined by Bill. He swooped in during the weather. Um, he's with the Breckenridge Tourism Office. How are you this morning? I'm doing well. And yourself? Doing well. Besides how being woken by the freezing, I'm doing great. <laughs> well, good. Good. So tell me a little bit about what's going on around town. Well, I want to say good morning to the uh, Colorado Tourism Office, Governor's Conference attendees. Hey, good morning. So <laughs> welcome to Breckenridge in a frosty morning here. And a uh, great event last night at the Riverwalk Center. We had a welcome reception for them and got to say thank you to a bunch of people for helping us out because obviously the Breck Create folks did a great job. They always do. Um, Beaver Run for hosting the event. Uh, let's see. We had sponsors at the event I have to recognize as well, too, because we had Breckenridge Distillery there, Broken Compass. You know, who Broken Compass, Breckenridge Distillery, Breck Create, and also Beaver Run have had service champions in our one Breckenridge guest Ooh. service program. So it's really cool to tie all of those things together, and they do such great work, and I love their bourbon, <laughs> as well as the beer. If you can't have fun at Broken Compass, uh, it's not their fault. Yep, right? I love I love the distillery bourbon and the beer too. I brought some bourbon home, and my dad was like, "I need you to ship this to me." <laughs> right, right. I take it to Wisconsin. You make old fashions out of it, and you're the life of the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what else do you want to tell us about? Well, you see. always have like this right. long list of things because there's so right. much going on in town. Yeah, exactly. Because we have uh, October second, we have the pool pate going on right here so um, mark your calendar for that one that's a fun event two to five at the at the recreation center and uh, the folks down there are helping us put this together so it's a fundraiser so that we can do more training and then it's gonna be a fun event we are also we've been working with um, with uh, businesses in town to do a calendar so we're gonna have a calendar that's gonna be available probably for pre-order it's gonna be the working dogs of Breckenridge calendar so look for that as well too so we got that kind of fun thing going on and then also because yesterday we promised we'd talk about October so that was the first one the next one is still on the hill okay. and that's a fun event that <laughs> one is for the restaurant association um, that is let's see October 21st and 23rd I haven't looked I haven't had time to look at a lot of details yet but um, if you've been you're gonna yeah, it's a fun event to come back to but mark your calendar for this and the restaurant association does a lot of good work throughout the community their fundraising um, their dining passport should be coming out soon too um, but they do great fundraising throughout the community and you know help kids with you know scholarships and so forth so kudos to those guys as well so. yeah so definitely want to make sure that you go to all these events because they support a lot of different great programs that are going around in town. Exactly. And you can learn about more events, too, at gobreck.com slash events and then, you know, bring up the events calendar and, and you'll see stuff for things going on every day. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned that some of the sponsors are champ, um, champions of One Breckenridge. Yes. Tell us a little bit about One Breckenridge. I know we talk about it usually, but every day we have different viewers, so I don't want people to be confused, like, what in the world is he talking about? Okay, One Breckenridge is our guest service program, and what we do with that is we, we have trainers that go out and work with businesses, and especially within their own business, and they train folks uh, on guest service skills. And it's a lot of what we teach is a lot of the communication styles, so recognizing communication styles and how you adapt your own communication styles to really help service the guests. So it's a lot of sustainability for a business as well as just good guest service and uh, in a competitive marketplace you want that uh, but anyways we do guest service training and then every month we recognize service champions so we get nominations from anyone in the community we look at TripAdvisor we look at Yelp and other sources and we look for service champions that we can nominate and recognize for guest service and and being recognized by the by anyone essentially yeah it's definitely a great program especially for a touristy town like the one that we live in yeah. so you mentioned um, gobrack.com for more information about events and yeah. then how can people nominate somebody if they think they have excellent um, customer service they can go to one breckenridge.com so one breckenridge.com and then it's if you scroll down a little bit there is nominate a champion just please click there and just you it can be anonymous you can give us your name um, but just recognize somebody that you have received good service from and um, we follow up, tell the story at a, at a recognition breakfast or luncheon, and have a good time. Awesome. Well, Bill, thank you so much for telling us more about what's going on around town. There's always Absolutely. something going on and telling yeah. us again about One Breckenridge. I think that's important for our viewers to know so that they can nominate some people around town. Um, we're going to take a short break, but we have Watch and Win coming up later on in the show. We're giving away a $25 gift certificate to Main Street Outlet, so you want to make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.